are at the Roma Termini train station and you have to make sure that you're looking at the right signs. As you can see, it's very busy. It looks like this is the regional train signage and train stations and we're looking for the bullet train, the fast trains. And where are we going today? Napoli. Also known as Naples. How long is it going to take us? About an hour and a half. Make sure you ask for directions. We thought we were getting on the train to Napoli and the signs would say Napoli. No, the signs say Salerno because that's the final stop of the train. We think we're getting on the right train and it makes us stop in Napoli. We made it, we figured it out. We are on a bullet train to Napoli for the day. We did not realize that our final stop is Salerno, so we were looking for Napoli, and we would have missed our train. <laughs> As you're buying your train tickets, make sure and note or ask someone, because we finally asked someone. We sat down and the train took off in about five minutes. We bought business class train seats, obviously nice seats. I believe these tickets were 100 and something round trip. And we're going to be enjoying the Italy scenery. On the Freccia Rosa, we hit a speed of 206 kilometers per hour, which is 130 miles per hour. It took us an hour and 15 minutes to go from Rome to Naples. Let's take a bathroom tour of the Freccia Rosa. Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna find. They were clean. Hey, grazie. What do we have in the snack box? What a cute little box. A little croissant, a little bottle of water, a napkin, energy mix, sanitizing towel instructions on how to eat it all. And why did we get a snack box? We got the snack box because we upgraded to business and this comes included in the price. Hey, let's go do some exploring. We're gonna go to the snack car, coach number five. La Freccia Rosa, which is the bullet train from Roma, Termini, going all the way to Napoli, and the staff has been excellent. Salvadore, and I forgot the other guy's name. Excellent. So, open bar if you have a business class. I just got a cappuccino. Let's check it out. Cappuccino on a high-speed train. Can't get better than this. So we haven't said what we're going to be doing in Naples. Yesterday we had kind of a busy day because we did the Vatican tour. Then we did the food tour. We did a lot of walking, which is great. Lots of steps. But we're a little tired right now. Jet lag has kind of hit us a little bit. Today, we're heading to Napoli. Oh my gosh, look at that view. We're just gonna take it really easy. We, you know, there seems to be a love-hate relationship with Naples, Napoli. Some people say they love it. Some people say they hate it because it's dirty, it's congested. We've never been there, so we're gonna check it out. Our plans are we definitely want to go to the fish market. I love going to all the local markets. We also hear that there is a funicular, 
We're just gonna take in Naples and we'll tell you our opinion of Naples as we head back. Come join us, comment, like, and subscribe. Anita and Al Adventures. We appreciate any subscribes. Thank you so much. Let's use the Napoli Centrale bathroom and see how it is. Hey, when you gotta go, you gotta go. The bathrooms were really clean. Thumbs up. How Napoli much? Napoli Centrale. Uh, you know what? I just kept putting coins and coins and coins. <laughs> I don't know how much it was. We just exited the Napoli Centrale and we're walking to the world famous Naples fish market. And I hear that there is a lot of street art here in Naples. I'm from New York City, we call it graffiti. Napoli is one of the most densely populated cities in Italy. And when you look around at all the Vespas, all the buildings, all the balconies, all the busyness, um, it looks like it's true. walking down from the train station and we're heading into the medieval gate back there that looks really cool because that's where the fish market is. The fish market is that way. Look at this street. Wow. Clothes. What, what in particular? <laughs> Bras. Bras. Fish. Fish. The tomatoes and the basil. Can we take it home? Beautiful. Delicioso. Delicioso. U.S. U.S. Florida. Florida. You're about to drop the cheese. Ooh, drop it. Mm. Oh, the bread is so good. Buona pane. Mmm. It's the best thing you're gonna have today. Bruschetta? <laughs> Bruschetta? Bruschetta. Pomodoro, mozzarella. Pomodoro. Do I need to say any words? <laughs> it was delicious. Best bread so far in Napoli. Just stopped. We're, we're in the uh, famous fish market. We stopped at this stand right here. These two lovely people brought us in and we had some bruschetta and that bruschetta with some of the best bruschetta I've ever had. If you're ever here in Naples, Come see these shopkeepers, they were lovely. Oh, see? And then he takes it all out. And then he gets a scrub brush. Clocks. Fish. And here are some more amazing sights to see in Naples. Mount Vesuvius erupted, covering it in at least 19 feet of ash. The city's quick burial preserved it for centuries before its ruins were discovered in the late 16th century. About 10% of the population died because of the eruption in AD 79. You can book a guided day trip to visit Pompeii, or you can purchase an audio guide with your interest fee of 18 euros.
Galleria Umberto is Naples' famed shopping gallery. It was built between 1887 and 1890. It was meant to combine business, shops, cafes, and social life, public spaces with private spaces like apartments. It's got a very unique design because it's shaped like a cross, and it has that glass dome that's braced with 16 metal ribs. In recent times, it's returned as an active center of Neapolitan life after many years of decay. Oh, and by the way, it's a UNESCO heritage site. Now we're over here at the Napoli bus terminal. We're gonna grab a cab. The next stop is going to be the funicular. Got in the cab and the cab driver didn't speak English. We didn't speak Italian. So we just used Google Translate. It's amazing. No, 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 no. We are in Napoli. We are heading up San Martino. Just sat down on the funicular. We're heading up again to San Martino, and there is a monastery. Comment, like, and subscribe. I need to end our adventures. So far in Italy, we've taken a plane, train, taxis, Ubers, and now we're on a funicular. It's our own version of planes, trains, and automobiles. We made it. Here is a spectacular view of Napoli. Uh -huh. It does look kind of like a dreary, scary castle that the knights are getting ready to protect. So here's a drawing that shows how this castle fortress is star-shaped. It was built by the Spaniards in the 17th century. And what's the name of the castle? Uh, Santa Elmo. Sant 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 Love it. <laughs> Check this out. We have never seen this before, but look at the railing. It looks like Braille. We're not sure. We're going to have to do a little research, but it certainly looks like Braille. Comment, like, and subscribe, and watch Anita and Al Adventures in Italy. And look at this view Bam. from the top of this castle in Ooh. Naples. Straight across the water is Capri. Are we in Puerto Rico or are we in Naples? We are on our funicular and we are heading to a pizza place because we cannot leave Napoli without having pizza where pizza was invented. The birthplace. <laughs> credit card notification. Al's pants buzz because we immediately get a text when his credit card is charged. Uh, hey, I said I wanted to be adventurous, so we're on the metro here in Naples. We're being adventurous. We have two hours to get to the train station, which is only five stops, but we do want to get some pizza because this is the birthplace of pizza. And don't I look like I eat a lot of pizza? <laughs> in New York, riding the subways. It's like getting over Times Square. Times Square and 42nd Street. Got on the subway at Toledo and got off at the Central train station. It took about 10 minutes. It was a very nice train. And now we're gonna try to still find some pizza. Because we're hungry. And now for our take on the day trip to Naples. 
Naples was wonderful, reminded me of New York City, like the Lower East Side of Manhattan. The people are beautiful, the food is great, the sights, uh, the seaport, and obviously Mount Vesuvius in the background. Naples, loved it.